Okay, uh, Miss Spano, what about your group? Well, Mr. Tuttle, I'm afraid we couldn't agree on anything. Um... Uh, until this morning. <clears throat> Kelly, give me your hand. Zach, what are you doing? Mr. Tuttle, there's nothing more important in life than your friends. So what better gift from a friend to a friend than beautiful, handmade friendship bracelets? Mm -hmm. Awesome! <laughs> the public is never wrong. Ignore the powders, the doubters, and the shouters. Project approved. Hey guys, we're in business. All right. All right. We're here. Oh, hi, guys. Thanks for coming over. This is so exciting. The hottest idea in school. We're all in it together. That's all right. right. Yeah. But if we're going to make any money, we're going to have to mass produce these babies. My friend's in the fashion club so they can make 60 a day, 80 if we pay them. Mm, 60's fine. <laughs> now, did anybody come up with a name for our company? Yeah, I did. We're selling friendship bracelets, and we're all friends, right? But what about friendship forever? Huh? Oh, I love it. It's so friendly. <laughs> Perfect. Now, the next order of business is picking a vice president. Well, you came up with the bracelet idea, Zach, so I really think it should be you. Me? What, are you kidding? I'm president. Well, says who? Yesterday, we all agreed Jesse would be the president. Yeah, right. remember, yeah. Zach? Yeah, but that was when we didn't have anything. Now we have a million-dollar idea. Hey, I don't want Jesse to blow it. Why would I blow it? Because you've got to be ruthless, cunning, and tough to be president, not a sensitive marshmallow like you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You cried when Kermit and Miss Piggy broke up. <laughs> well, if that's the way you feel, I'll just start my own company. <laughs> yeah? You and who else? Me else. Me else, too. Oh. You're being unfair. Oh, what does fair have to do with it? We're talking about business here. Coming, Lisa? How can I? The man recognizes my genius. <laughs> and I can't leave my best pal and my best gal. Please, go with them. <laughs> Fine. You start your own company, and we'll see who outsells who. Oh, you bet we will, Bubba. <laughs> oh, right here. All right. Take yours. Thank you. There you go. All right. <clears throat> well, well, well. If it isn't the three marketeers. I don't see a booth for your product, but if you beg me, I might take you back. I wouldn't beg you to spit if my eyebrows were on fire. Uh, Mr. Morris, how are our friends at Friendship Forever? Friendly, sir. So far, a net profit is $120. <laughs> Magnificent, Mr. Morris. Uh, Miss Spano, I hear you spawned a separate company. Yes, Mr. Tuttle, and we'd like to present a video that will introduce our new product to the class. Slater, if you please. <laughs> this ought to be good for a laugh. I was never good at making friends Never could get a date for the dance And I tried everything I tried everything I could think of And then I discovered buddy bands And now, for only $3.95 my dance card is full. Buddy bands. Buddy bands. Buddy bands. Hey. They work. <laughs> You're right, Jack. What a joke. <laughs> Mr. Tuttle, I object. That's the same product we're selling. No, it's not. Yours is a stupid wristband, and ours is a clever headband. There's room for similar products in the marketplace, Mr. Morris. Look at Pepsi and Coke. Avis and Hertz. Saloni and whipped cream. <laughs> He's got a point, Zach. Project approved, Miss Spano. And I commend the three of you on a superlative piece of promotion. Thank you, Mr. Turtle. Thank you. Thanks. It's going to play in selected classrooms throughout the week. 